You are listening now to A Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Thanks be to God, my dear listener, I was praying just before we began, and the Holy Spirit gave me a direction and a revelation that I'm going to pass on to you, I'm going to pass on to you right now, and this revelation is when He, Jesus, He taught us to pray the Lord's Prayer. The disciples asked, Jesus teach us how to pray, and He taught, and I was teaching the prayer, and in the prayer of the Lord Jesus, He says, Look how powerful it is. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. But I want to call your attention to this part here that says, May your kingdom come, your kingdom come, your will be done. When Jesus, he teaches, asking that his kingdom come, may your kingdom come, Father, means that the, the kingdom that we, that we are inserted here on earth is the kingdom of darkness, is the kingdom of the devil. If Jesus instructed us to pray, saying, your kingdom come, your kingdom come, it is because here, the problem is big. The problem is deep. You can be noticed that we, as we're making the 91 days of the Psalm 91, as it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, you can notice that the hidden place of the Most High is hidden. Is actually hidden. It is hidden. It is nowhere to be found. A hidden place is a hidden place. Normally, in a hidden place or secret place, not everybody is protected. Only those that are in there. So, the shelter of the Most High, where did He, where did he place this, this secret place? He on earth. So, among the kingdom of darkness, God placed His secret place. So, people do not understand that the disasters, that death, the premature death, that death itself, all evil that happens in this world, that is because of the kingdom of darkness. Whoever, whoever is in the kingdom that doesn't belong to God is subjected by the problems of evil. And I have no doubts in that. That's why, personally, I always pray this prayer. Your kingdom come and your will be done. And the, the fact is that this kingdom that Jesus teaches to pray will be the kingdom in the millennium. When Jesus returns with his church to those that were raptured, taken, raptured, 
he's going to come to reign again in this world. So we are going to have a thousand years of the reign of our Lord Jesus here. Satan is going to be arrested and imprisoned for a thousand years. The kingdom of hell will be tied up. And the kingdom of the Lord Jesus will be established here. And we, the Church of Christ, that are, we are already living in the kingdom of God, and we have been raptured, we are going to reign with him here in this world. So you who are listening to me right now, dear listener, you have to evaluate your life because the, God, the kingdom of God only comes after the rapture, only after the tribulation. And this is promised to be very soon. Therefore, now, in this moment, the kingdom of God comes individually. It comes to those that are accepting Jesus as the Lord and Savior and King of their lives. Those people that are subjecting and submitting to His discipline. Those that are living in God's kingdom, which is the secret place of the Most High. And then the need for people to receive then the Holy Spirit. And only the Holy Spirit is capable to take us to have God's kingdom, to enter in God's kingdom. But the Holy Spirit will never come upon a person that denies Him that denies Jesus or refuses to accept what Jesus says. The Holy Spirit cannot come upon a person that, for instance, they put Virgin Mary as first in their life. The Holy Spirit cannot come upon a person that puts St. Peter, St. John, Paul, St. Anthony, St. Whoever, Moses, Abraham in first place. No. For a person to receive the Holy Spirit and to live in God's kingdom and to be inserted in God's kingdom today, in this moment, they will need to surrender their lives to Jesus. They need to repent of their sins. They need to let go of sin, baptize in waters, yes, baptize in waters by immersion, and then follow the way of justice, which is God's kingdom. For, for example, I remember that for one full year, I heard God's voice. I would hear the word of Jesus. But I was not accepting him because I did not, I did not want to give up my life. I did not want to give up my youth. I didn't want to give up that moment of thrill in my youth. And I didn't want to give up. For, so for one year, I was inside of the church and I would accept Jesus in all the prayers. But when I left the church, I, le I lived my life as I wish. I stayed in this so-and-so for, for one year. Until one day, as I found myself deep in the pit, when I found myself desperate, then I looked for Jesus. I looked for Jesus, and then I surrendered my life to him. The Holy Spirit pointed me the way as the only one who could make me enter in God's kingdom. When I accepted Jesus, when I surrendered my life to Jesus and made a covenant with Him, when I made a vow and I, I put my word to Him, so then I received the Holy Spirit. 
And from the day that I received the Holy Spirit, I have been, I have been desiring to bring to people and share with people what He has given me. So what we do today began 54 years ago because of the Spirit that we received from Him. So I say to you, e quando a gente ora, that when we pray, Pai nosso que our Father no who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Venha o in your reino, kingdom come. Todo mundo sabe Everybody oração, knows this prayer of heart. Nosso, todo mundo sabe Everybody isso. knows it. Poucos But few, they have observed the deepness into it. Ora, so when we say reino, your kingdom come, muito bem, Jesus Very well. Veio His kingdom did not come to rapture the church. He did mundo, not establish milenio, the millennium, mas ele but vem he individualmente comes para individually to those que dizem, oh, meu that Deus, say, eu, eu Lord, I decide today to pecado, abandon my sins, and I want you to forgive me. I decide to start a new life with you from the moment that you erase my past. I want to begin a new life with you. I want to fix my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. When a person makes this decision by free, free will, they take this decision on their own, they surrender themselves, they sacrifice themselves, they put themselves on the altar in sacrifice, living sacrifice, and the Holy Spirit who sees this, who sees this sincerity, He will come upon them, and then automatically they they will begin to be one more member of the secret place of the Most High. He becomes a new citizen to God's kingdom. And then what takes place? They do God's will. When we pray, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, when we receive the Holy Spirit and we come into God's kingdom and we submit to God's will and not our will, we let go of our Lordship to be now servants of God, to be a servant of the of Lord Jesus. So then His will is done in our life here on earth as it is in heaven. If we remain in his shelter, on the altar, in his kingdom, is it clear, my dear listeners? We have begun the 21 days, and all people are welcome to make this fast. You have to pay nothing for it. But you must sacrifice. You are not going to sacrifice money. You are going to sacrifice secular information. You are going to sacrifice entertainment. You are going to sacrifice sports. You are going to sacrifice. You are going to sacrifice internet. You are going to. You are only going to enter the internet to seek information from on high, informations of God. For example, you can read my blog, you can also stay tuned on online, Universal Online Radio. So there are many options, in fact, even continue to watch the TV programs of the church, because there's always a message of faith. You can then, my dear friends, you can, you who want, you who want, you will need to make the sacrifice. If you don't make the sacrifice, but it's not only to say, oh, I accept Jesus as the Lord and my Savior. No, you are going to also sacrifice, truly, in practice, your will, your desire. You know, those chats that you do either in social networks or in the corner of the street movies, all these things, 
All these things you are going to let go. And there are people that are addicted in doing it. So you are going to put all these addictions aside to only think in the things of God's kingdom. And then, yes, then, making this sacrifice, you are showing that you truly want the Holy Spirit. So then God's Spirit, the Spirit of our Lord Jesus, will come upon you and will bring you to His kingdom. And then you pass to live into the shelter of the Most High. Thanks be to God. Well, I used to be very depressed. Um, I used to feel very lonely. My parents used to argue at home, verbally and physically, um, throughout my entire childhood. I used to feel empty inside. I was always the outcast in my school. I would never have any friends. I would be the only girl sitting in the lunch table where people would always talk about me. Um, I'd get bullied by many kids, boys and girls in school. So I used to be very depressed to the point where I became suicidal. I used to cut myself in my arms, my legs, uh, get into a car accident, like go against a tree or a trailer that was in front of me. The other time was I attempted with a rope by myself in my, in my room. Um, I tried to like choke myself with a rope, but it wouldn't, it didn't go all the way through the rope, so it failed. Um, and that was, I felt like that was the only way out, um, that it was something that made me feel good from all the pain that I was going through. It was something that relieved the pain, the ease, and kept me sane throughout my depression and the difficult times I was going through. At home, my older sister and my younger sister would always get the attention and the love and the affection I was looking for from my parents, I would never get it from them. So I tried to look for it outside in the world through having boyfriends and going from guy to guy. And unfortunately, I never found um, the real love. It was all temporary. I would always get cheated on and I'd always get left like on the scene there. And I'd always feel depressed. Well, my first 21 days was um, I decided that I wanted to change my life completely and so I decided to do the 21 days when the pastor mentioned it and I disconnected myself from all social media. I would start listening to uh, church music, I would start reading the Bible more. I put God first, I prioritized Him first. I did more for Him and less for me, like with the things that I wanted to do. I stopped talking to many people that didn't benefit me, people that, in conversations that weren't worth it. And so I decided to do, I decided to go to church more Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, and then Saturdays to evangelize. So I started doing more for God, and I put all my fleshly desires aside, and I decided to make a change because I wanted a change in my life. I didn't like living the way I was living. The hardest thing to sacrifice during the 21 days of Daniel was social media, Instagram, Snapchat. It was always a big part of my life because in the past, I used to never talk to my sisters or anything. So. I would always communicate myself with friends and uh, behind all of that. So giving up Snapchat and Instagram, it was like giving up my life, you know, because it was a huge part of my life. Well, the peace of having the Spirit of God is it's great. Like when I go home, my house is full of peace. There may be problems here and there, but the problems just go away. They disappear and there's more peace within me, my sisters, my parents. Well, now I'm more happy. I feel like I don't need to go from guy to guy to find the happiness. Now I do more for God and less for me. You know, I put God before everything. I put My studies is very important to me. It's always been a huge part of my life, but I always put God before it. Um, now, if I have to go to service on Wednesdays and Fridays and Sundays, it's like a joy to go. I can't wait to, for those days to come so that I can go to service or I can just be in the presence of God. Um, I would, even if I have a test the next day and I didn't study for it, I still always go to service first and then I study, even if it's staying up till three in the morning, writing a paper, whatever it may be, I still go because God gave me this, this happiness, this, he filled me with his spirit and I feel like I can do so much, I have to do so much more for him. Yeah. heart that's true to you your will be done and I won't turn away my soul is lost in sorrow forgive me now I pray give me my Lord a heart that's true to you 
My Lord, I long to hear your speaking voice Telling me, don't be for I am here To feel your arms around me To feel your love for me Give me, my Lord, a heart that's true to you Father, renew me once again Come and accept me as I am And with your spirit fire the cold To wash away all that is old Father, renew me once again Come and accept me as I am Down on my knees before your throne I give it all to you You've given all to me Inside of me was anger. I used to get angry so much, and especially when I got mad, I used to do a lot of crazy stuff. Especially a person like me, I used to be around gun all the time, so that voice was getting destroyed my life. It getting so bad because because the same anger caused me get locked up so many times because I couldn't control it. I did a lot of things. I thought it was like if I get more money, I would be happy. It wasn't. I think um, travel, travel all over the world, meet all kind of different female, it was gonna be to close this emptiness that I have inside of me, but it didn't. I find about the 21 days, the first time when I came to the church, it was telling me about the 21 days. But I tried it, but I didn't finish. And the second time, and when the 21 days came, and I decided to do it till the end, that's when I, I start taking that for very seriously. I take it straight, and I, I was like, um, stay away from everybody I know that come with a negative talk. And I, I used to talk a lot about my friend back home. I cut all this thing off. All I, all my mind was to seek for God more. Because that time, I used to love TV, I love basketball, I love watch soccer. And I'm a type of person who used to talk a lot on the phone. And I'm, I talk a lot of female on the phone. That time, I take all these things away from me. and then. I just saved myself to seek for God. When I received the Holy Spirit, the first thing that I see in me is I come. Because I, I used to be, have a lot of anger, I very calm, and then um, I didn't have peace inside of me. I have peace, and I never communicate with people. Every time I talk to somebody, it's always gonna be a problem that I, I have to, if I don't pull a gun, if I don't get mad and do, do crazy stuff, and I can feel that these things are not there anymore. I can feel that I'm, I'm a different person. The number one that I find in me is that I, I didn't ever want people around me. I'm a type of person that I always want to be by myself because I know what type of person I am. So, and I start, call, I start talking to people. I start like, I can feel that inside of me that I want to help people because I'm a type of person that I, in my past, I used to be a person that do a lot of things to use people. I can see that I don't have that type 
I'm not a type of person anymore to use people. I start helping people more. People around me, they really see that I'm changed because I saw anger. I saw have this anger is to control me. I can have. I didn't have the power to control this anger. I can see like when people now see me, they're like, something gotta be wrong. It's not the same person that I know, the Angela that I know. Now why are you so calm? Why you have? I say, my friend, it's only God that's controlling me because I didn't have the control of of my own self. But now they can see it. Even when I talk to my people back home, they can see I. I really sound different person. Even my mom's like, I just can't, I just can't be, I wanna see you. Because the way you talk now, I can feel that inside of you, you have peace. to make a prayer for you who are listening to us and you desire spiritually speaking you desire to change your life you want to 
change within you. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. In fact, this coming Sunday in all the universal churches, we are also going to be making prayers in favor of you and also your family members. So we are going to have the great day of the rescue of our family. The Sunday of the rescue. So you who want to rescue your life or you want to rescue that family member, come this Sunday. And I want to make a prayer for you to have wisdom, strength, for you to be able to speak to somebody, your family, because you know that family member of yours that is very hard-headed, proud, but they are suffering. I want to pray right now for God to give you conditions to bring this family member to church. Let us talk to God now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, my Father, I am here right now before you and thinking on these people that are listening from afar and perhaps they are living a terrible life. People that are being diagnosed by doctors and they have not found nothing. People that are filled of complexes thinking to themselves that they are not worthy. I'm thinking about those, my Lord, that you have sent us to rescue them. You have sent us to save them. And it is for them that we pray, because this Sunday when we have the great day of rescue, all the universal church of the kingdom of God all over the world they are going to be by God, before your altar, presenting these people to you and their loved ones. And I ask you, my Lord, from this moment, may you give your spirit the spirit of wisdom, so that they may, so that they may bring other people that are afflicted, desperate, and that they may have the right word, a word of wisdom, to reach these people. I pray for them, and I pray for all people that are listening to me right now, whether in the hospital or prison, or that are living moments that are difficult. My Lord, I place my hand on this device, and I pray for all these people and I implore that you, that you may bring a way out. Your power may, may manifest to deliver these people from this procrastination, from this disease, from this curse, this financial problem, this unemployment, this family problem, this incurable disease in human eyes. But not to you, my Lord. My Father, stretch out your hands. I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever our voice is reaching, may come out, may, may come to them your power. An angel of God comes to deliver them. And I ask you that you may bless this cup of water and make of this cup of water as living water that we are talking about. The water that comes from heaven, the water that comes from God, and make this person to be literally healed inside and out in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And you who believe, you say, Amen. Graças a 
Graças a Deus. Thanks be to God, amiga, amigo, my dear listener. We are coming to the end of our participation. Tomorrow we're going to be here at the same time. And do not forget that this Sunday we are going to have our services at the church, the main service, 10 a.m. We're going to have it at 10 a.m. And all of us, we're going to be fighting so that your family be rescued. All right? God bless all of you. Em nome do In the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Change me now, change the shape of my heart. Want to listen to you, understand what to do. The shape of my heart Like clay in the hands of the potter Give me a heart that is tender Cast off this heart of stone I want to be In the center of all that you want Surrender to you May your will be done inside of me Always change my heart Change me now Change the shape of my heart Want to listen to you Understand what to do Mold me now Mold the shape of my heart Like clay in the hands of the potter Give me a heart that is tender And cast off this heart of stone I want to be in the center of all
Faith and intelligence go together. Although faith sounds crazy to this world, it's intelligent because it makes us know that we can be happy. Faith also keeps us from accepting a life of defeat and allows us to fight to conquer a life of victory and success. If nothing is going according to plan, it's time for you to use your intelligence and faith to bring to existence the desires of your heart. The Universal Church, a place of faith to change your life.
because Jesus gave his all.